I'm back, baby. Load game. Where were we? Okay. So, um, there was a. I tried to do this <laughs> once already, but, um,. There was a problem with the, uh, apparently the mic the microphone cut out and lost the input on half of it, so I'm going to do it again. So we're going to go from Vault 15 to Vault 13 to our ancestral home. The home of the Vault Dweller. Our great-great-great-great-grandparents. You see car, you see cave wall. Let's reload just in case. Put the gun away though. Ah, the old vault cave. It looks just like I remember it. Although it's not got as many rats in it. All the rats are dead. Vault 13 door! You see the vault door terminal. Let's go on inside. Hey, there's a person there. You see locker. Let's look in the locker. Nothing. Open the door. Holy shit, it's a death claw! Do not fear me, human. I do not intend to harm you. I am Guthar, leader of this death claw pack. Why have you come here? To kick your ass. <laughs> Always with the forthrightness. How is it possible that a death claw can talk and so well? I want to know what happened to the people who once lived here. I'm looking for something called a gek. I was told I could find one here. I think I'll be leaving now. So, Vault 13 is inhabited by talking death claws. Okay. I want to know what happened to the people who once lived here. They are gone, human. We did not kill them and take their home. It is not our way to kill. I understand that you may not believe me, but I hope that you will judge me by my actions towards you and not out of fear or prejudice. Hey, maybe you figure I can kick your ass. What is it with the ass kicking today? You seem to be an honorable being, Gruther. Why... Why have you come here? To kick your ass! That's what all humanity is for, right? How is it possible that a death claw can talk and so well? Forgive me, I do not mean to be rude, but I do not see that th this is relevant to our conversation. I can speak your tongue, I can read your written word, what more needs to be said? Uh, I don't mean to pry, but surely you can understand my interest in this matter. Yeah, well, how about letting me decide what is or what not relevant? Well, yes, I certainly can. Um, um. <clears throat> okay, I can't do that. <laughs> do that voice too long. <laughs> Very well. If we part as friends, human, human. You should speak with Goris. He has more understanding in this in this matter than I. He can usually be found in the vault library. Thank you. I look forward to meeting Goris. I have no intention of adding a death claw to my list of friends. Bye. Yeah, right. Thank you. 
Why have you come here? I'm looking for something called a gek. A gek? Is that not a small lizard? No, wait, that is a gecko. I am sorry, but I do, don't, do not know what a gek is, nor where it can be found. Will you let me in to look for it? <laughs> hey, that small lizard comment was really funny. That a relative of yours? <laughs> It's obvious that talking to you is, is a waste of time. Uh, I wouldn't say something like that to a, to a Deathclaw. Hmm. To be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure what it is myself. Would it be alright with you if I look for it? Let's go with this one. I am sorry, but I do not allow just anyone to wander the halls. I am responsible for the safety of all who live here, and I must exercise caution. However, I will look for this gek, and if I find it, I will let you know. Look, it's not like you own the place. Maybe I'll look around whether you like it or not. That's the uh, Bronx cheer for those you don't understand. I understand, Guthor, and I'll respect your wish for privacy. I can understand your concern. You don't know me well enough to trust me. What if I could help you out somehow, and in return, you allow me to look around? That sounds good. Guthor stares at you intently for a moment. You would be interested in helping us? Yes, I sense a little evil in you. Very well, I shall place my trust in you. Thank you. There are many machines here, machines built by humans. Deathclaw hands cannot use these machines. However, there is one machine... Blah. However, there is one machine that understands questions. I ask it to run the other machines, and it obeys. This machine no longer listens. It will no longer run the other machines. Sounds like Microsoft Bob or something. <laughs> we are running out of food and water. I have ordered raids on the human land so that we may survive. I'm not proud of this, and I will put an end to it. If you repair the machine, I will be able to feed my people once again. I will gladly stop the raids. Will you agree to this? Sorry, I have no idea how to fix such a thing. I've changed my mind. I'll have to think about this some more. I refuse to help Death Claws. That's why I'm so deep in this conversation tree. I will do what I can for you. Thank you. The machine is in the vault control center on the third level. If you can repair it, please do so. I am placing my trust in you. Please do not betray it. You are welcome here. I won't let you down, Guthar. You have my word on that. <laughs> there really is one born every minute. Probably shouldn't say that. Uh, okay. Also, we gained uh, 2,000 experience points for finding Vault 13, which I failed to point out earlier. Let's talk to this guy. You see a death claw. It's watching you with strangely intelligent eyes. Forgive, I know speak well, I try to talk you. Well, it's better than Tor. Who are you? I Thern. Who you? I've got to go. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Thern. I'm Elton Eleven. Got it. Now that I think about it, I don't give a rad rat's ass who you are. Why would you say hello to someone just to be rude? Man. You really do get all the dialogue options. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Thurn. You want what? What are you doing here? I guard Hall. Safety of Pack. Goal. Goal! You're doing a great job. You want what? No offense, but just how smart are you? How I judge, not know. Some things understand much, some things understand little. A lot things understand not. Yeah, well that describes me as well. <laughs> In other words, you're a dumbass. That's not nice. You want what? Uh, passing time. 
Let's go talk to this human guy. He's a little out of the ordinary. Oh, let's go to the computers. Do the computers do anything? Let's use science on a computer. Or science. You fail to learn anything. Yeah, that sounds about right. Get out of the way, Cassidy. Hello, I'm Joseph, the herbalist. What can I help you with? I'm crippled. Can you help me? I'm sorry, but I'm not a medical doctor and I can't perform surgery. I would suggest that you go to one of the bigger cities and see a surgeon. Try the New California Republic. It's east of here. All right. Am I crippled? I am crippled. When did that happen? Huh. Well, it's been a while, so I don't really remember these things. <laughs> like a like a crippled left arm. It's not that big a deal. Hello, I'm Joseph the Herbalist. What can I help you with? I wanted to ask you some questions. What would you like to know? Are you a prisoner here? No, I'm not a prisoner. I stay because I'm needed here. I've learned to accept the fact that some of my patients are death claws. That's very commendable of you. That's a decision I can't agree with. I think it's very commendable. What would you like to know? Can you leave here if you want? Yes, I can and often do. I have to collect my herbs from time to time and I've never been stopped. I used to wonder if the death I used to wonder if the death claws were secretly following me and whether or not they would stop me if I tried to leave. So one day I put the theory to the test. I traveled to another town and stayed there a week or so before returning. When I got back, I was warmly welcomed. Gruthar, the pack leader, I've met him, came to me privately and personally thanked me for coming back. No, I am definitely here because I want to be. You took a foolish chance and you're lucky it paid off. Good idea, I'm glad to see it worked. Let's go with that one. What would you like to know? What can you tell me about the Death Claws? Well, let's see. Death Claws appear to be mutated Jackson's Chameleons. The horned variety. Fortunately, not the horny variety. There are a lot of similarities still present, but an even greater number of differences. A lot of similarities, but more differences. Hmm. The mutation factor is quite high. This species is highly intelligent, about the equivalent of an eight-year-old. Hmm. With some individuals reaching human normal level. I've known some humans that don't read <laughs> that don't reach the eight eight-year-old level of intelligence. Their learning capacity is very high and they are very capable of abstract thought and reasoning. Interesting. Although they do not have vocal cords, the death claws seem to mimic human speech much the same as a parrot does. I have yet to I have yet to discover the exact mechanism behind this, so I am unable to say more at this time. Socially, they are pack animals with a very rigid code of ethics. They are led by an alpha male who rules with the mutual consent of the pack. They appear to be extremely loyal to the pack as a whole, treating it as a family unit rather than having individual families as humans do. Kind of like wolves, I suppose. Their sense of right and wrong is very well defined. They do follow a code of ethics that is enforced by the that is enforced by the pack as a whole. Violence is never used as a solution to a problem among the pack as far as I can see. There have been no capital crimes committed here, so I can't say how those are handled. Hmm, that's about all I can think of for now. I hope this helps you. That was more than helpful. 
Wow, I'm impressed with your knowledge. Sounds like a bunch of hogwash to me. Uh, what would you like to know? How did you come to be here in the first place? I was gathering some herbs one night when a voice called to me out of the darkness. I have been watching you, it said, and I know that and I know that you are a healer. Are you dedicated to you, Are you dedicated to your art enough <laughs> to heal someone foreign to you, someone who many would consider an enemy? I answered that I respected all life and would do my best to heal the injured regardless of who or what they were. I thought it was some thief or raider who had gotten himself hurt and needed a doctor. You can't begin to imagine my surprise when a couple of death claws stepped out of the night with an injured companion. Somebody had shot him up for real good. I told him I couldn't work on him when we were there, so they blindfolded me and brought me here. I've been here ever since. What a waste to be here when you could be helping others. <laughs> if you want to be an asshole, man. You are truly a dedicated man who deserves recognition. What would you like to know? That's about it. Oh, Cassidy, you're in the way again. Move. Get out of the doorway. Get. Move! Alright, let's save again here. Save game already exists. Ahem. <clears throat> let's explore Vault. 13. Whoop. Hello, you man. Sorry to bother you, but who are you? I Dar Warrior. Warrior, huh? That's a good one. Know any more? I see. Well, I've got to go now. I'm L1011, door. What you want? Please don't take offense, but how educated are you? Not much, but I learn. Gruthar, he leader, tell us all learn. Gruthar is right, you should try you should all try to educate yourself. So you're so stupid that someone else has to force you to educate yourself. How nice. That's like the Tea Party response, right? What you want? What is your job at the vault? Dark guard, dark guard hall, and keep peace. Nothing more. With a face like yours, how can you keep the peace? Oh, well, you're doing fine, Dar. Just keep it up. What you want? I'm just passing the time. Okay. So let's see here. This appears to be a religious emblem. Who's this person? You see a lean man in long robes. He appears to be in deep thought. Let's interrupt him. Welcome, Traveler. I am called Gordon, and I am the Shrine Keeper. What can I help you with? It's a pleasure to meet you, Gordon. I'm L1011. Can I ask you some questions? You call this a shrine? Whoever it's dedicated to must be turning in their grave! Sorry to have disturbed you. I'll be going now. Yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you. Certainly you may. Well, who is this shrine dedicated to? This shrine is dedicated to an unnamed hero known only as the Vault Dweller. Hey, that sounds familiar. He... He or she... was a, <laughs> He or she... He or she was a savior of all who lived here several decades ago. We do not know what became of our savior, but he 
or she lives on in our minds and hearts. What a joke, a shrine to someone you can't even remember. That's harsh, man. Very commendable, Gordon. Can I ask you some more questions? What would you like to know? How long have you been here? I've lived all my life here in this vault. I've been a shrine keeper for most of those years. You are a very dedicated man. May I ask you some more questions? That's a long time. Can you answer some more questions? It's your life to waste. Then you were here when the death clause took over. Let's ask him that. No, my friend, I was not. I left a few months ago to visit the statue of the vault dweller erected in the central court of the NCR, the New California Republic, east of here. When I returned to the vault, I found that the death clause were already here. Needless to say, I was in shock. However, I am convinced that they are not responsible for what happened to my fellow citizens. If by chance you want more information on this matter, you can seek out Goris in the library. Interesting. Walk away one day and the death claws move right in. I don't need you telling me where to go or who to see. I'll keep this in mind. Thank you for your help. I have more questions, though. What would you like to know? What can you tell me about the death claws? I have lived with the Death Claws for several months now. They seem to be honorable and forthright in their dealings with me and the other humans who live here. I trust them, and in time, I think you will as well. You could trust the lizards if you want to, but I'll reserve my opinion for now. Thank you. Psst. I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt for now. Thank you, I need to know more. Whoa, why do you stay here? My place is here at the shrine. I will not leave it willingly. Okay. You are either dedicated <laughs> You are either dedicated or a dumbass. I vote for dumbass. Your dedication is admirable. Your What would you like to know? Thanks, Gordon. Goodbye. That's kind of interesting. So this guy over here is Matt. If we talk to him, then we'll open the dialogue options to uh, help him escape the uh, vault, which involves killing the Death Claws. So, don't want to do that right now. Save. Save right here. What's going on here? Oh, I didn't see you standing there. That's okay, we all space out at times. Say, you look rather down. May I ask why? <laughs> Should I hit you with a board to get your attention next time? Yeah, sure. Hey, shit happens, and when it does, it happens to me. <laughs> nice attitude. What? I was born two months premature. When I was one, I was dropped on the porch. When I was two, I had pneumonia. When I was three, I got the chicken pox. When I was four, I fell down the stairs and broke six ribs. When I was five, my uncle was decapitated by a water watermelon. What? I... Was it at a Gallagher concert? When I was six, my parents hit me in the head with a shovel. When I was seven, I lost my right index finger to my pet rat. More. More! When I was eight, my dog Spike got hit by a tractor. When I was nine, my mother lost her arm to a rabid Brahmin. When I was ten, my sister was torn to bits by a pack of dogs. 
when I was 11, my grandfather killed himself because I was ugly. <laughs> when I was 12... <laughs> When I was 11, my grandfather killed himself because I was ugly. When I was 12, my grandmother killed herself because I was ugly. <sighs> Just a moment. <laughs> when I was 13, my father poked out his eyes with a pitchfork in a drunken stupor. More. When I was <laughs> when I was fourteen, my brother lost his hand to a wallaby. When I was fifteen, mutant. When I was fifteen, my aunt choked to death on a chicken bone. When I was sixteen, I lost my cousin to a badger. It's like. Did he, did he, did the badger kill him, or did the badger, like, take him out for dinner? <laughs> when I was 17, I cut off my left big toe with a hoe. Ho! When I was 18, my father lost his right leg to the same tractor that killed my dog. When I was 19... Yeah. Uh, I'm sure glad that I'm not here. Okay, to get the picture of what's currently bothering you. I'm truly really sorry that you've got so much pain. Hopefully things have gotten better. Wait a minute, I forgot I have something else to do right now. Um, What's currently bothering you? Well, there I was, traveling through the desert, when suddenly my Brahmin falls over dead. About then I realized I was low on water and hadn't had a drink in quite a while. Later my bones began to ache, my head started to hurt, my bowels became loose, and I got this rash that just wouldn't go away. Mm, yay. It was time to sit down and die. Well, there I was sitting in the desert, waiting for the world to swallow my miserable existence when a pack of death claws shows up. Well, I'm thinking to myself, this is it. Now I can die. I can wind up as a pile of deathclaw shit in the middle of the desert. But no! Fate had yet another cruel card to play against me. You see, the deathclaws didn't kill me. Instead, they gave me water. Mm, brought me here, gave me this room, gave me food, cleaned me up, and now they won't let me leave. I know they're fattening me up for some unknown horrible fate. I keep telling them that I would probably taste better if I was leaner, but it does no good. They just smile, if you can call it that, <laughs> and pat me on the head and say, Don't worry, human. Things will get better. We both know what that means. Anyway, to make matters worse, then they started giving me some sort of medication. It was making me gassy. So I stopped taking it. And it's a good thing I did. I think it was some sort of mind control pill because I started to feel like things weren't actually as bad as I thought. Anyway, that's about it. I'm just waiting for the dinner bell to chime so that they can feast on my bloated body. <laughs> I don't want to hear anymore. I've got to get out of here and away from you. Bye. Please tell me that you don't have any children. Nope. When I turned 22, this strange fungus started to grow on my test. Stop! I don't want to know! The end. Okay. Does this guy have a name? You see a grumpy older man in his early 60s. Hello, grumpy older man. What else is going on here? I don't see any other... Hmm. Any other uh, openings.
right. Let's go in the elevator and go to level three. Where all the fancy stuff is. There's the conference room. It's a table. Before tables, people had to keep their stuff on the floor. Primitives. There's another death claw. You see Vault 13 door. See what's in these lockers. It is locked. Interesting. I bet this one's locked too. Yep. That one's locked too. Also locked. Very locked. Super locked. Ultra locked. Okay. There should be some foot lockers, yeah. Oh, but they're empty. I was gonna say there's some foot lockers in front of, uh, hidden behind the uh, wall, but they're empty. They both are empty. Okay, let's save again. Vault 13. Um, locked lockers. Why would you lock a locker? What meaning is that? Let's talk to this girl. You see a young woman in metal armor. Well, I'll be. How are you doing, L1011? I hope everything worked out for you at the squat. Dahlia! Thanks to you, things everything worked out great. Hey, I'm glad to hear that. It was my pleasure to do what I could for you, so what can I help you with? I have some questions for you. What do you want to know? Are you a prisoner here? No, I'm not. I'm here of my own free will, and I like it. I think this will be a safe place to, for me to stay for a while. All right. What do you want to know? Can you leave anytime you want? Yeah, I've been told I'm free to go or stay. I'm staying for now. Okay, then. What do you want to know? What can you tell me about the death claws? I don't know any more about them than you do, I guess. I'm still trying to get used to them talking to me instead of tearing my head off and using it for a golf ball. It's scary, you know? Yes, it is in a lot of ways. What do you want to know? <laughs> How did you come to be here? After I left the squat, I didn't know what to do with myself. I figured I'd just drift into another town and another hired gun job. So I was wandering the desert, trying to decide exactly where I should go. Well, one day I was looking for a good place to camp. It was getting late, and I didn't want to be out in the open after dark, off in the distance in the ways. I thought I saw a campfire, so I decided to do who see who was there. So I sneak about. So I sneak up on this campsite, and there are these two death claws sitting around the fire, just chatting away idiot that I am, I let out a little cry of surprise, jumped up and turned to run right into the arms of another Deathclaw standing right behind me! Oh! Anyway, to make a long story short, it took a while for me to realize that I wasn't about to be put on a spit and barbecued. Instead, I was brought here and interviewed by Gruthar. Now I can live here if I want. That's interesting. What do you want to know? Why are you worried about needing a place of safety? When I let you buy me in the squat, I broke my contract with my employer. I was sure that I'd be hunted down and killed because of it. Seeing you here convinces me that I don't have to worry about that. I can only assume that my previous employer is no longer in any condition to be concerned with me or <laughs> is in any condition to be concerned with me or my whereabouts. You're damn right. Safe now, Dahlia. You'll have no need to worry about any retribution. Thanks, L1011. That takes a load off my mind. You're welcome. I'll see ya. You're welcome. 
What do you want to know? Thanks, I'll talk at you later. I'll talk at you later. What am I, from Jersey? So let's see. You used to be able to go to this one, this computer, in the way in the back, and do sciencey stuff. But I guess it doesn't work that. Do 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 do. What's going on over here? You see a robed figure. Hello, I'm Goris. I don't recognize you. Are you new here? Yeah, so what? <laughs> Hi, I'm L1011. Yes, I'm from outside the vault. Hello, Goris. Guther said I should look you up. He seems to think you are the man with the answers. Can I ask you some questions? Sorry, gotta go. Hello, Goris. So you've talked with Guthar. He is a rather inflated opinion of me. <laughs> I don't really know half as much as he thinks I do. Anyway. So you're an outsider. I've seen a few like you. I s some are staying here in the vault, but you look different. You appear to be more seasoned, if you know what I mean. Um. <laughs> I'll bet you've been around a bit and accomplished things. Am I right? Yes, I've had some adventures. Say, if you wouldn't mind answering some questions for me, I could tell you some of my adventures in return. It's a deal. I would love to hear anything you can tell me. What would you like to know? What are you doing here? Are you a prisoner here? How long have you been here? What can you tell me about the death clause here? Do you know what happened to the people who used to live here in the vault? They were captured by a group called the Enclave. Everybody who's played Fallout 3 knows about them. Gruthar and the pack were forced to aid in their capture. They had no choice since they were slaves at the time. The fate of the humans has weighed heavily on Gruthar's mind. He's never really forgiven himself for his complicity in the affair. The humans were taken alive, but who knows what has happened to them since. I knew the damn Death Claws were responsible somehow! Sometimes we're forced into doing distasteful things by situations outside of our control. Guthar should learn to forgive himself. What would you like to know? What can you tell me about the Death Claws here? These aren't your average death claws, as I'm sure you've noticed. They've had their intelligence enhanced by some means not understood by them. It was done by a group of humans known as the Enclave. It seems this Enclave needed an army and they chose death claws because of their ferocity, physical prowess, and, well, you get the picture. Anyway, the only thing lacking in Death Claws was their intelligence. They needed to be smart enough to understand complex commands, but not so smart that they'd be a threat to those in charge of the military-industrial complex. So the Enclave started messing with a virus or some such thing and injected the virus, um, injected the Death Claws with it. This virus was known to mutate humans into some sort of super beings. So the Enclave wanted to see what it would do to Death Claws. Ooh, that sounds like the uh, FEV from Fallout 1. Well, the result was a breed of Death Claws so smart that they could see they were destined for slavery. So they played dumb until they could gain their freedom. And here they are. <laughs> that sounds like the biggest crock of shit I've ever heard in my life. That's incredible! You seem very knowledgeable! Can I ask you more? What would you like to know? What are you doing here? I'm surprised Guthar didn't tell you about me. Oh well. I'm a student of sorts. I'm trying to learn as much as I can about the world and the different cultures that have developed. Right now I'm studying the culture the Death Claws are forming and comparing it to human development along similar lines. I've acquired 
just about all the information I need here. It would help my research a great deal if I could do some traveling, however. If I could do some traveling, period. However, I don't want to go it alone, if you know what I mean. So, you're a scholar. That's quite an accomplishment. How boring. Oh, well, it's your life to waste as you see fit. So, you're a scholar. What do you know about the virus? I think it's called the FEV virus. The Enclave is or was doing extensive research on it. I'm sorry, but I don't know anything more. You should be sorry. I was told you were a font of knowledge. Even more than helpful, Gorus. Uh, what can you tell me about Guthar? Guthar is not the monster that he appears to be. He genuinely cares about all of us here and is doing everything he can to ensure our safety and survival. All of us trust him with our lives. I don't know what else I can say about him. You would have to get to know him and judge him for yourself. He's a Deathclaw. I find it hard to believe that he can have any redeeming qualities. Well, if you really want to be a jerk... Sure, let's talk about some other things. You mentioned you wanted to do some traveling. How about joining me? Goris hesitates, and you get the feeling you are being carefully scrutinized. I would be honored to join you. Yay. So, now, we have Goris the Deathclaw in our party I suppose Let's see combat control weapon used claw armor used um I don't think he can use armor whoever is closest well, we'll see what happens with uh, with uh, Goris. Well, let's go look at this computer terminal. Oh, let's talk to these childrens. Let's say first. Vault thirteen, Goris. Hello, little childrens. Meow, meow. I am a cat, and I have special powers that only cats have. What are you? I'm the person that's going to kick your ass if you don't stop this cat nonsense and tell me your name. Screams, Mommy, 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 Mommy. Oh! Enter the combat. <laughs> <gasps> That's a hell of an escalation there. No, I don't wanna. <laughs> where'd the where'd the kid go? Hey, kid! Oh, there you are. Oh, stop moving! I want to talk to you. I'm just a normal person who is quite impressed with your special nature. Can you tell me your name? I'm Sandy. I'm not really a cat. I just like to play. I see. Can I ask you some questions? What do you want to ask me? Are you forced to stay here? Yeah, my mom always tells me where I can and can't go. She tells me where I can play and when to eat and when to go to bed and when to go potty. And when to go to school and everything. I don't think it's fair that she can do anything she wants, but I gotta do what she says all the time. I see. What do you want to ask me? Do you like it here? I guess. I miss not having other kids to play with, but Mom says that will change someday. She thinks other kids will come to live here. Until they... Until they do, I like to play with Valdis. Valdis? 
He's funny and he gives me piggyback rides. Mommy's Mom says I should leave Valdis alone. He's busy and doesn't have time to play, but he always plays with me when I ask him. I just don't tell Mom about it anymore. That's nice. Are you safe here? Yeah, Mommy takes care of me, and Valdis wouldn't let anyone hurt me. I'm safe here. Good. I'll be leaving then. Let's talk to Mommy. Hello, I'm Ariel. I don't think I've seen you before. Who are you? Hello, Ariel. My name is L1011. Yes, I'm new here. Hi, you're looking rather down. What's up? You don't need to know my name, but I need some information from you. Sugar tits. Uh, I'll just politely introduce myself. It's a pleasure to meet you. What can I help you with? I'm sorry to intrude on your solitude, but could you... <laughs> Answer some questions. Alright. Are you a prisoner here? No, I can leave anytime I want. The Death Claws have made that very clear to me. They don't hold anyone here against their will, as far as I know. I think you're lying, bitch! I see. Are you treated alright by the Death Claws? Yes, they provide me with food water, shelter, and protection. I feel very safe here and that's more than I could ask for. Would you like to leave the vault? I've considered it, but I would have to say no. I feel safer here than anywhere else I've ever lived. Well, that's kind of the idea of the vaults, right? I do get lonely for the company of other people like myself, but hopefully others will come to live here in the future and satisfy that need. Fine, you can rot here for all I care. You've been very helpful, but I must trouble you for more. What do you need to know? Why are you so sad? My husband recently died. I miss him and I'm having problems adjusting. That's all. I'm sorry to hear that. How did it happen? Tough break, I'll be seeing you. Shit happens, people die. <laughs> Usually when I'm around. <laughs> oh, that'd be mean. My husband and I were traveling with a caravan on its way to the New California Republic. We wanted to start a new life for ourselves and our daughter, Sandy. Unfortunately, the caravan was attacked by raiders one night. They were incredibly brutal. They killed everyone, men, women, and children. Rand, my husband, died trying to defend Sandy and me. We were to die next when a miracle occurred. I was holding Sandy behind me, trying to keep her from the monster that had shot Rand. He stood next to my husband's body and laughed at me as he aimed his gun at my head. Suddenly, this huge claw came out of the darkness, grabbed him from behind, and, well, thank goodness that Sandy didn't see what happened next. Anyway, the raiders were being wiped out by this group of death claws. The one that saved Sandy and me stood near us and talked to me. He kept reassuring me that I was safe and that he was sorry that he couldn't have gotten there sooner to help us. Afterwards, the death claws brought us here. What a crock of sh I'm out of here. Thank goodness that you and your daughter are safe. Wow, what a story. I don't know if thank goodness. What do you want to know? I must be going now. So, all kinds of uh, heartwarming stories about the, uh, about the Death Claws being all, you know, peaceful, loving, and stuff. Who's this guy? Greetings, human. Hello, who are you? I am called Valdus. And you are... Hey, I'm the one asking questions here. Glad to meet you. I'm L1011. How may I serve you? No offense to your fellow Death Claws, but you sound more educated, shall we say? Yes, we are quite diverse in our levels of education. I am doing my best to continue mine in my spare time. 
<laughs> An iguana with a goal. How freaking cute. You're doing okay. That's an excellent goal. Keep it up. I'll select that one. How may I serve you? What's your job? I'm currently guarding this area of the vault against any unauthorized personnel. I'll be leaving now, Valdis. I see. Well, you certainly have... Do you have the brains to decide who is or is not authorized? That would be... That would be mean. Well, you certainly seem to know your job well. Well, just passing the time. Um... Good day to you. Can I go in here? Stop! You not go here. This place off limits. I go where I please, lizard breath. All right, I'll leave. Whatever. It's the death claw mating hatching mysterious area. Oh, there's some kind of stupid computer back there. You see mainframe. A large supercomputer. Probably the fastest looking computer you've ever seen. It does look like it's going pretty fast just standing there. You see a computer terminal. You can examine the computer terminal, but cannot find anything obviously wrong with it. What do you do? Uh, here, leave it alone. Let's we'll save first. Vault 13 computer before we start playing around with it. Hit it in that special way. You gaze at the console for a while and decide upon the best spot to place a punch. After giving it your best, this'll fix it hit. The monitor flashes a couple times and then stabilizes. There is no other effects. What do you do? Uh, we'll try, kick try kicking it. This well-known repair method produces two results. First, the monitor seems to go haywire for several seconds and then stabilizes. Second, you hear a breaking metal type of sound and the panel you kicked falls to the floor. What do you do? Ah, uh, damn things open. Might as well look inside. Peering into the mass of cables and circuit boards, you find that the system has been deliberately sabotaged. One of the circuit boards, the voice recognition module, is beyond repair and must be replaced. Now all you need to do is find a replacement module. Deliberately, eh? The terminal needs a voice recognition module installed before it can become operational. Hmm. I wonder if this guy has anything to do with it. Oh, hello there. I'm Jim or Jimmy. What you up to? Hi, Jim. I'm L1011. None of your business, four eyes. Back off. Can I ask you some questions? It's a pleasure to meet you, L1011. What do you do here? Well, we're having some computer problems, and I'm looking into it. Unfortunately, my forte is software, not hardware. What's the problem? The voice interface to the mainframe has failed, so Gruthar... <clears throat> can't give the system instructions for running the vault. The food and water processors have already shut down the power system. Could very well be not. Why not just give it a keyboard input? Well, you see, that's the weird part. The system refuses to accept keyboard input. I'm at a loss as to what to do at this point. Mind if I take a look at it? I already did. 
you can't make matters any worse than they already are, go right ahead. All right, but I need to ask you guys who What's all this machinery for? This is a mainframe computer system and related support devices. From here, all functions of the vault are remotely controlled. I see. Isn't this the vault overseer room? Normally, the vault overseer would be stationed here, but Vault 13 has been fully automated. Why? I mean, isn't that unusual? I don't know this full story, but at one point in the vault's history, there was a rebellion. The overseer was either killed or overthrown. I'm not sure which. Anyway, the leaders of the revolution didn't want to entrust the fate of the people to another overseer, so they installed this mainframe. The records say it was purchased from, oh, what was that name? Uh, the Brotherhood of Steel. Can you tell me anything about this Brotherhood? No, I'm sorry, but I have no information on them. This all happened ages ago, and I've never found any references to them other than this one. However, it's my understanding that the Brotherhood was a military outfit, and there are some ruins of what appears to be a military base west of here. That may be what's left of them. Alright, let me ask you some other questions. Are you here in the vault because you want to be? Oh yeah, I've liked it here ever since I stumbled upon the place and I don't really want to leave. I've always been a loner and I don't much care for people, no offense intended. None taken. The computer needs a part. Do you know where I might be able to get it? Well, let's see. I suppose the best place to look would be Vault City since they're the most modern place I can think of. You might want to give New Reno a try, though. New Reno. They're closer and they do a lot of trading with Vault City. Thanks. What do you think about the Death Claws? Well, in some ways, I admire them for what they are and what they are trying to become. In other ways, they scare the hell out of me. I don't think I'll ever get used to the fact that they are just as smart as I am. Well, some of them are that smart. Do you think they are a threat to human society? Oh, absolutely! They are far superior to us physically, and they are our equals mentally. That makes them a pretty big threat. However, it all comes down to morals and ethics in the end. Fortunately, they seem to be ethical and morally well developed. Yeah, I see what you mean. Would you like to know? I think I'll be going now. Hmm, do 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 do. Say the voice interface terminal. I don't think I don't think we can science it. Yeah, that doesn't help. How about repair? No. How do any of these consoles work? You cannot get there. Why not? Nope. 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 Assume that those ones are also not usable. Let's see what else is of interest in here. I think the only thing left is to try to lockpick these open. So let's save before we do that. Vault 13. 
set of locks. Do I have a set of lock picks? I don't remember. No, I do not. I have a day pass, though. We. That's certainly something of value. Uh, lock pick. You failed to pick the lock. 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 What is my lock pick skill? 18%. That's not gonna bode well for <laughs> lock pickery. Nuts. Your lack of skill has jammed the lock on this container. The lock is jammed. Okay, well, let's not do anything then. Go back up to the first floor. See if Gruthar has anything to say about deliberate sabotage. Have you examined the machine? I'm sorry, Gruthar. The voice module has gone bad. I'll have to go get one. I do not understand the workings of such things, but I trust you, L1011. I will wait for your return. I shall return, you have my word. Okay, so I guess I don't get to tell him about the sabotage. Hmm. I wonder who it was. Well, let's go. Where are we going now?